Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. It is day 57 of 75 for EDSS here in The Realm Reborn, and yesterday we had a bit of a short episode. In fact, we haven't had an episode that short for the entire duration of the LP, primarily because we had to take care of one last piece of business in Thanlin in dealing with the deceased members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, before returning the corpse of the Sylph Noraxia to the Sylphs at Little Solace. After that, it was just finishing up some other high-level tasks that were made available to us, including unlocking a new passage out of Gridania. But now, we get to focus on a new challenge, and that is to come back here to the Lancers Guild, and we haven't met up with Gilnast Wayne in over a month. But... We have come back here to take on his final challenge for us through the Lancers Guild. So, that's what we're going to be focusing on here today. So, Guildmaster has a level 30 challenge entitled, Proof of Might. Guildmaster Ywain would set you a final trial. And so, let us begin. Ah, Hedy, ever a sight for sore eyes. By your turn, I take it you are ready for the vinyl trial. Very well. Let us... Uh-oh. Gilmossy Wayne! You were wounded. What has happened? We were attacked, sir, by a dusk-white lancer as we trained in the forest. He was impossibly strong. A demon. He kept screaming something about teaching us true courage. Yeah, if you've been following the LP, guess who he's referring to? No, not him. Not Falquez. Yeah, Falquez. Again. We were in the northwest corner of the Central Shroud when it happened. I was able to get away. But the others... You must help the others! Uh. Be strong, man. I am sorry, Edie. The final trial must wait. Pray make haste to the central shroud and help your comrades. And Edie, should Falquez force your hand, do what must be done. Troll speed you on your way. And so, the quest is accepted. Yeah, Falquez has been trying to manipulate us into his way of thinking, although... He has not succeeded in that regard, however, he remains undaunted in his relentless pursuit. So, to get to the fastest place to where he would have been, the fastest place for us to go to would be the gate we just recently unlocked, which would be the White Wolf Gate. Yeah, it will be closer as opposed to the Blue Badger Gate. Because it's in... The White Wolf takes you into more hostile territory within the confines of the Central Shroud, so it's a lot easier to go out this way than it would be the Blue Badger Gate. So, it's actually not that far. In fact, it's just very close by. So, since I cannot use my Chocobo for what we're going to be doing next, I shall withdraw him. So, yeah, unfortunately, my Lanza cannot assist me in this challenge. It has to be all me. So I'm going to put a spring in my step and hustle on over to where our fellow members of the Lancers Guild are in distress. So we find a scarred lance over here. And so yeah, I guess it's apropos that it's dark right now because what happens next is currently going to be very scary. So let's go ahead and interact with the scarred lance. Because this is one of those challenges where it lets you know if you are above experience level this X experience level, it will be synced. So since we are above 34, we will be synced to 34. So let's go ahead and see what exactly we are dealing with. Help! For the love of the 12, help me! Yeah, this poor guy is about to get attacked by a quartet of Lindworms. We had to fight a number of these guys in a fate we took on yesterday. So, first priority is to get over to where the Lindworms are that are attacking your ally and deal with them. Because, yeah, he's taking damage as this battle is going on, so you have to be all over this. 
you have to be fighting the Lindworms that are attacking your ally first and foremost. If you don't, you're... well, your friend's not gonna survive. Let's just leave it at that and... Uh, I hate when it's... when you do a lock-on and it drags you to stay within the confines of the attack. Of the attack range of the enemy. I really don't care for that, and I don't know how the heck it happens. The only way I know that you can break out of it is to cancel your attack against the opponent. But, if you maintain your composure and you attack the, the Lindworms that are attacking your ally first, you'll be fine. And as long as you can keep your HP up at a specific level, then you'll be fine with that too. But, yeah, we finished this off in 90 seconds. So, Thibane... Thebane has been rescued by us. I owe you my life, friend. Another breath and I would have become worm fodder. A dust white lancer unleashed the fiends upon us, claiming it would temper our courage. You should have seen the look in his eye when he said it, my bastard. Yeah, we know who this guy is. Where is he now? I think he headed off towards the North Shroud. Maybe in the direction of Four Gold Float. I can't say for sure. I was concentrating on the Skullkin at the time. If it's wrecking you, Seek, you are like to be disappointed. Those of us who managed to outrun the worms will have already alerted the whalers. I dare say the Dusk White is being held at spear point as we speak, begging for his worthless life in a puddle of his own piss, so is the bastard right and all. <laughs> yeah, if only that was true. But knowing Falquez, that would not be the case. Knowing our luck with that freak of nature, and the way he disrespects people, so we gotta go face track him down in the North Shroud. In fact, it's not that far of a trek, so we can just ride my chocobo out there. And if it's not that long of a trek, we can just ride the chocobo to get over to the North Shroud. And hey, it saves me a few gil. So let's wind our way back over to the North Shroud. We won't bother putting up a fight against the Spriggans, we just want to get ourselves to where Falquez could possibly be located. And since we know he's somewhere in the North Shroud, it's just uh, specifically a matter of where. Because yeah, this guy, he, he has definitely been a thorn in our side when we've taken on challenges on behalf of the Lancers Guild. He's been trying to claim that Courage is only obtained by throwing yourself into battle against the most formidable of adversaries. And yet, Guildmaster Wayne has his teachings have tried to convince otherwise. So we want to go to the west here to see if Falquez is over somewhere around this area. Should be. That's the whole bunch of the dangerous, scary, explosive balloon bombs. And this, this once again is a demonstration of why I'm not much of a fan of the North Shroud because it is such a maze. But, if all goes well, we should be able- okay, yeah, there's the highlighted circle. There are some Ziz defending it though. So before we can get our hands on Falquez himself, we're gonna have to take care of the Ziz first. Because I do not want them interrupting me when we get underway. So we're just going to get them out of here. And then we will proceed to take on Falquez himself. I'm not taking any chances with Ziz number 2 because, yeah, the Ziz are feral. Therefore, it's best that we just get them out of the way and be done with it. So, let's go ahead and finish this Ziz off. And there it goes. Alright, don't need to worry about the balloons, so... Yeah, here's Falquez. We haven't seen this guy in quite some time, and as you can see, he has already accumulated quite a number of dead bodies. So, pretty much gives you an idea of what exactly we're dealing with with him. So, let's go ahead and give him a talking to. Alright, here we go. So, time to do what must be done. Yeah, there's the man himself. 
Hey, Falquez, it's been too long. But to be honest, it should have been longer. What kept you? Helping your comrades, you say? Fool, you always pity on fool's friends. It's only a matter of time before they betray you. Oh, I just know those wretches who saw me in prison and exiled. I was once an upright citizen of Gridania and a man of the Lancers Guild, yet life was not easy. For want of the coin to obtain the best necessities, I conspired with my closest comrades to steal from the Guild's coffers. Wow, really? And that, yet that makes you supposedly once an upright citizen of Gridania? Wow. No wonder this guy is delusional. The thefts soon came to light, and though there were no suspects, it was clear that the deed had been perpetrated by someone within the ranks. An air of suspicion hung over the guild from that day forth, until at last, unable to bear the guilt, I convinced my accomplices to join me in confessing. Only for them to bite their craven tongues after I stepped forward and admitted my part in the crime. And so it was that I alone took the blame. Of course it was the dust white everyone said. Was there ever any doubt? It all made perfect sense. Despite my heartfelt pleas, my so-called friends denied any involvement. Instead, they called me vulgar names that I do not care to repeat. Can you imagine the shock and anguish I felt at that betrayal? Would that I had had the strength to force the truth out of those traitors. Would that I had had the courage to escape my dungeon cell, even if it meant taking some hapless guard's life. Driven by vengeance and no small amount of self-loathing, I resolved to forge my courage anew. I strode into the lairs of ravenous fiends while drenched in blood. I put their helpless offspring to the spear, that I might face the unbridled fury of their kin. Well, you're not getting any sympathy from me, that's for sure. I mean, thievery? Murder? I have to say that it definitely makes you the villain here. For my efforts, I've acquired the ultimate courage. A courage forced to mix danger and tempered by rage. I fear nothing. I am the greatest Lancer that has ever lived! And so now he's going to try and put his money where his mouth is. So this is where we fight one-on-one -on -one against Falquez. And this is a tough battle, even if you are maxed out at level 34. Because he has a lot of abilities, and he has a lot of difficult situations that he will put you in. Of course, priority one, avoid Heart Stopper. And still don't understand how I get locked into him. And I'm trying to avoid such problems. Yeah, don't be afraid to bring it all out against this guy. You're gonna need to. Yeah, th when I actually beat him in my run against the Falquez with my first avatar, it really was a neck and neck battle because, yeah, he's gonna start implementing elemental changes out onto the field. He will start to alter the field to damage you. The frost will hurt you when you step into it, so be careful of that. And that's not the only trick he has up his sleeve in this battle. Although it is the first one that he introduces. So as much as you can, stay out of the cold. As much as I love cold, unfortunately my avatar does not have such a luxury. And as you can see, he's really going to start spamming it in order to alter the field to make it more favorable for himself. And as you can see, lots of frost being put into the field. You're lucky if you can get a hit in. So far, I have the advantage until this happens. He brings out reinforcements. And you have to kill off the reinforcements as you're fighting against Mr. Falquez. Gotta get them out of the way before you can resume your attacks against him. Get that out of the way. All right, then once it's dead, once they are gone, reassert your attacks against Falquez and resume your course. 
Yeah, overall this is not all that bad of a battle. You just have to be careful of the countless times that he changes the field of battle. And of course when he brings out his reinforcements. But as you can see, I have the lead and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, stay free and clear, let him come to you, and then just put the lance right through him. And of course, whenever you use this Heartstopper, do not be afraid to get out of the way. But Falquez is soon to be defeated. In fact, if you use the Swing of Frost again, I'm not even going to bother moving out of the way. We win. Falquez is defeated, we are victorious. And so now... IMPOSSIBLE! Well, unfortunately it's not. I defeated you fair and square. Yeah, he's frantic now. My courage is absolute! But then... Something out of Hollywood is like... NO! COME NO CLOSER! Well, you're gonna wish I did! Oh, he dies a Hollywood-style death. Not aware of his surroundings, falls off the cliff, and plummets to his death. Yeah. That's all we're gonna have to ever deal with, with Falquez again. He is no more. Yeah, definitely not a dubious way to go out. Instead of dying in battle, he dies post-battle because he was un unaware of his surroundings. So, with that, back to New Gridania. Back to New Gridania to let Wayne know what has happened. But yeah, that for my first avatar, that took me a few tries because um, the re I constantly got... Um, distracted by the reinforcements, but ultimately I did figure it out and prevail. So now that I've done so, and I'm proud of myself for doing this on the first try, because I would have felt really bad if I needed multiple attempts to f to be able to pull it off, but I did. So now that the dust is settled and the rain is falling, yeah, I guess it's kind of apropos that the rain is falling, because the world is crying for a... the realm, specifically, is crying for a Lancer who lost his way and now has lost his life. So, it is with that that we return to the Lancer's Guild. And we're gonna have to break the news to the Guildmaster. So let's get out of the rain and let Guildmaster Yuei know exactly what happened. So, Falquez is no more. He, his was a tragic tale, and one that might have been so different. Had fate not dealt him such a cruel hand, he could well have commanded a place of honor within these halls. But it avails us not to dwell upon what might have been. It is enough that you are still with us, Edie. Lest you wonder about your final trial, there will be none. I have seen all I need to see. You have proven, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that yours is a genuine courage. In recognition of this, I shall pass you to you the secrets of Folobotomize, one of the deadliest techniques of the Lancer's arsenal. You are a Lancer in your own right now. There is not more I can teach you. From here onwards, it is up to you to seek out such challenges as will make you grow. Like attracts like, and the strong are drawn to strength. Just as I once knew for a certainty that I was destined to face the Lord of the Bramble Patch, so too you will find, or be found by, an adversary of equal worth. None can say what fate will bring, but armed with your courage, there is not you need fear. Keep close to your heart the lessons you have learned here, and go forth and blaze a new trail with spear in hand. And with that, we complete the challenge... Get a spear that I don't need because it's level 31, but we do get full lobotomize. And choice of armor, but none of it is anything I can use. So we shall take from the Guildmaster 1500 gil. And we are done here at the Lancer's Guild. But not completely, because now that we have full lobotomize, 
there is still one more thing we can do at the Guildmaster for the Lancers Guild, but it comes with a twist. When you want to speak with the Guildmaster again about his next challenge, you will discover that you cannot take it. This quest is not yet available because, and I don't understand why they would do this, they force you to change warrior classes to become a level 15 marauder. That is a separate warrior class that is available to you in Limsa Lominsa, and you have to get to level 15 as a marauder first before you can take the Guildmaster's next challenge. So, since we are not going to take on his next challenge for some time, I will let you guys know at this point that I will continue to remain a Lancer till, till the remainder of the conclusion of the 75 days, because as I mentioned when I started this LP, this was the perp it was the purpose of me to pay respect to my high school, which is celebrating its 75th anniversary. In fact, when this video goes up, the 75th anniversary celebrations will be in progress. And so, once I get to the completion of the 75 days, then we will start going beyond the responsibilities of the Lancer, and we will start taking tasks elsewhere. So, as it stands right now, I'm not going to be continuing on with speaking with Guildmaster Wayne, obviously, and I'm not going to change warrior classes for the remainder of the 75 days. I will only do so after the completion of day 75 of this LP. So, since there's nothing further for me to accomplish here, we still have unfinished business over in Thanalan. So, I will meet you guys back over at the Church of St. Adama Landama over at Camp Drybone in Eastern Thanalan to complete the Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie task. So, be back in a moment. Okay, so we now have returned to St. Adama Landama, and so let's speak with Sister Illinoid to complete her Bury Me Not on the Lone Prairie task. No! I meant to target Illinoid. Yeah, how's that for a weird finish to the episode? We thank you for your service to the Church and to the Sylphs. You may be pleased to know that in your absence we interred the remaining scions on our lichyard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends? If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please take a rest and set your aside your burdens for now, Edie. And so with that task completed, we now can see that the next mandatory quest is here in the Church of St. Adama Landama itself. And it looks like Marquez is ready for whatever it is he needs us to do, so while we have time, we might as well go ahead and see what we've got. Level 35 challenge entitled, Eyes on Me. Marquez believes he is being watched. I... I'm not imagining it, Edie. I know I'm being watched. No, no, not the girl I know about her. This is different. Sinister. It is as if I am under observation. The feeling comes and goes, but I, last felt, it, but I felt it when I last ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a moment. Well, let's go ahead and search the lichyard for unseen observers. Yeah, cause... If this is any indication, something tells us that there... If the brothers' suspicions are right, something is wrong. But where, oh where, could the situation be leading us to? Oh, can I jump over? Oh... Oh, oh, yes, I did jump! I did clear the fence. Didn't think he could, but yeah. When we're here at this tombstone. So, let's go ahead and see what we are dealing with. Well, now I'm being watched. By a member of the Guardian Empire! So, yeah, it looks like Brother Marquez's suspicions were confirmed. There are Imperials lurking about. But are they actually focusing their attention on him. Is there something else? Because, after all, we did just bury the Sirens of the Seventh Dawn here, most of them. And so, suffice it to say that perhaps the Scions are, or what's left of them, are in danger of having their corpses defecated, or perhaps since the Empire knows that I'm involved with the Sirens of the Seventh Dawn, 
maybe that they're possibly wanting to take a shot at me. Because, yeah, they didn't quite necessarily finish everyone who was in the Silence of the Seventh Dawn. They killed many, but they took Lady Minfilia prisoner, and no one knows what's become of many of the other members that we've come to know, Ida, Papalimo, Th Thancred, and Ishtola. So yeah, what's become of them is still a mystery. But let's talk with Marquez again, because yeah, it looks like he's got quite a few visitors. You were attacked, weren't you? Are you unharmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. He was watching me. But why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. Well, unfortunately I had to put a spirit through him. I need to think. Please, allow me a moment alone. Wait, Father Iliad must hear this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. And if the brother is targeted, that could be dangerous for everyone here at the church. Father Iliad? Heavens forfeit that such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Did you notice anything distinctive about his garb or possessions? Well, unfortunately, I did. Like this. This... This is Gallian steel, which means the man who was watching Marquez was... Make haste to Camp Dragon at once. We must summon the immortal flames before more Imperials come. Well, yeah, we better get on it right away. However, before that happens... We have a bit of a cutscene that's going to come up. So as we're speaking with the brother and the father, someone familiar to us is walking in. Hey, Alphanod, it's been a while. Hmm. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. You're referring to me there, Alphanod? I mean, we do know each other quite well. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. By yourself? That's quite an arduous task. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. What? I fear you are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. I beg of you, leave us in peace. I don't think Alpha Node's going to be dissuaded. Wait. Dissuaded. I. Oh. Brother? Uh oh. <sighs> Have we caught him in the worst of health at the Hear worst me, time? Sid. Eorzea needs you. You're actually going to go with him? Do you really believe that you are who he claims you are? Uh, uh. Yeah, Father, where are you going? Oh, what's... Oh, it looks like he brought a gift to the brother. Uh, Sid, was it? Here. These belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. Our time together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought joy to an old man's life. But it is time for you to help those who truly need you. So you are convinced that Alphanode is saying that this Brother of the Cloth is indeed this game's version of Sid. The name which has taken so many forms over the years in Final you? Fantasy games. Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. What a it legacy is no you're carrying. What befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. 
The repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And so now... And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise, and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. The and Ixen so? have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. <laughs> A look into my the eyes. The fight for destruction far exceeds that of other primals. Oh, that can't be good. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. And that is a problem. Yet, therein lies an opportunity. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. Let's hope you're right on if that, Alpha If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And how do you propose this? And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. Yeah, we're bringing airships into play. I, I have an airship? Apparently so. Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. Yeah, it'll take a while for Sid's memory to come back, I do believe. The skies over Gridania, not long before the Calamity. So let us begin our search there. Uh, an, an airship? Uh, <laughs> My airship? I think this is gonna drive him to tears. Oh, wait. What? Yeah, I guess he has to cast off his robe. And put on some civilian attire. Come. Let us put an end to the Primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. And so, with this vote of confidence now in tow, it's time for these two men to part ways. Mm. They need my airship. They need... me. Indeed they do. So, as with so many other things that are consistent throughout the Final Fantasy saga, every game has to have some character named Sid, whether he be for benevolent purposes or malevolence. But for the majority, it has been for benevolent reasons that we have had guys named Sid in this game. So, uh, Alpha Nooks! <laughs> Yeah, you're too close, man. You're too close. <laughs> yeah, how, how's that for an awkward finish to this episode? But yeah, that is a lot to have discovered. Not only did we complete our tasks and graduate from the Lancers Guild, but we have uncovered this game's version of Sid. And he appears to be someone who is in desperate need of having his memory restored about the whereabouts of his airship. And so we're going to find out all about that next time. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And when I join you again, as Alphanode said, we're obviously going to have to make our way back to Gridania in order to start searching for clues for the whereabouts of Sid's airship. So until next time, everyone, this is Matthew with Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.